Welcome everybody to day 32. Yesterday evening, I took my father to a restaurant, a steak restaurant in Oklahoma City. It's called Cattleman's. Cattleman's has been in business since the early 1900s. My dad, he's 87 years old, so he's been around a long time and he's never been to Cattleman's. Some of you might know that I'm vegan and I don't eat meat and I don't eat cheese, but my father loves meat. He loves steaks. His favorite meal is filet. So last night I took him to Cattleman's. We had a wonderful dinner. We had great service. Think about our parents and think about our kids. Can we take some time out of our life to do something special that really doesn't cost us a lot of money? My father was very happy to be able to experience Cattleman's. We might go back again. I took a couple of hours out of my life. We had a great time. Who encourages you? We all need encouragement. When I die, one of the things that I hope people say at my funeral is, Tom Pace encouraged me. Tom Pace encouraged others. Wouldn't that be a great thing for people to say at your funeral, that you encouraged other people, that you gave other people hope? Because we all need hope. We wake up in the morning, we have our pressures, we have our tension in our life. We need encouragement that we can get through the day, that we can have a great day, that we live in the greatest of times. We really do live in the greatest of times. Most of us woke up this morning in a climate control environment, in a nice bed. I got a Tempur-Pedic bed and I love it. If you, if you don't have a really great bed, go get yourself one. Get a great bed. Most people, when they make a decision that, they're gonna, that they need a new bed because their old bed is falling apart, when you get in it, it's like that, they wait five to seven years to get a new bed after they've decided they need a new bed. Go get a new bed. Who do you encourage and how do you encourage? You know, an encouragement can just be, you look professional today. You look really nice today. I'm glad you put the extra effort in. I'm, that's wonderful, you're reading. I see you reading. Congratulations on, on, on getting educated. Congratulations on exercising. Congratulations on, being, on coming to work early. Who do you encourage? It's really simple to encourage. Now, I read a book every day. That's right, you heard me right. I read a book every day. Now, I don't read a book every day from cover to cover, but I read a book every day, and the book that I'm reading right now was suggested to me by Austin. Austin said you should read this book. Now, I got a lot of books that I have my list, but because I trust Austin's judgment when he recommended I read this book, I said, let me take a look at it. Well, this is the name of the book, The War of Art. It's kind of an interesting title. And I really didn't understand. Breakthroughs, break through the blocks and win your inner creative battles. So far, I'm on page 30. I'm not very far into the book, but the book's not very large. It's a book that you could probably sit down in one reading and read. It's about 160 pages. And the main, the main theme of this book is about resistance. The resistance that we have to take action. Mel Robbins talks about reframing your mind by using the five second rule and she's written a book called The Five Second Rule. So I recommend that one. I haven't read it yet. I did order it on Amazon and I'm going to read it. So I, I would recommend that you become an encourager for others. The more you encourage others, the more people are going to encourage you. The more actions we take, the more successful we're going to be. So I hope you have a sensational day. Go out and encourage somebody. Thank you.